In my humble opinion, I believe that the Mitchell & S batting practice baseball jersey is one of the best values out on the market today. And in hand, I have the Pittsburgh Pirates Willie Stargell version of this jersey. Now, he's one of the most iconic, most beloved figures in all of baseball history. He's a World Series champion, and he's a Hall of Famer. So in today's video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a full detailed review of this jersey, and then I'm going to hit you with an unbody, and I'm going to show you why this jersey is such a great value. And we start right now. I'd like to welcome back all my returning viewers and subscribers. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching another video. I love you guys, I appreciate all the support. But if this is your first time visiting my channel, my name is James and I do reviews on sneakers, gear, and sports related items. And if you all could do that thing I like and destroy that like button for me, I would really, really appreciate it. And if you're new or you haven't yet already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I drop one of these bangers. And you don't miss anything. So now that baseball season has started, I've actually had some people reach out to me through DM to ask me about these Mitchell and S batting practice jerseys. And in my opinion, like I was saying at the beginning of the video, I believe that this is one of the best values out on the market because these only retail for 90 bucks. Now they have different teams and different players available. Some have last names on the back, some don't. It's just based upon what that team was wearing at that time because Mitchell and S makes all their jerseys true to that time period of the jersey that they're trying to recreate. And I have this Willie Stargell version of the jersey right here. And BAM! Now I have had this jersey for quite a while, so there's no tags or anything attached to it. And I have worn this jersey multiple times, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with the jersey. You can't even tell that I wore it or anything like that. But this is a jersey that I have put some miles on. And the Pittsburgh Pirates, that's my hometown team. And I tend to go after, you know, older players from back in the day and stuff like that because I don't buy newer jerseys with their names and numbers on it because the players on the team currently you know, they don't stick around very long. The team gets rid of them before they got to pay them. So, you know, it's not really worth it to me to add Pittsburgh Pirates current players into my collection, if that makes sense. So, you know, picking up a Willie Stargell or something like that, you know, is definitely more beneficial to me, in my opinion, than picking up a current player. So now we're going to take an up-close look at this jersey, check out the materials and see how everything was constructed and do a full detail review. All right, so starting out here, you can see that this jersey has the black and yellow colorway like most Pittsburgh sports teams, which is very basic yet elegant in my opinion. And then starting in the inside of the neck collar, you're gonna have your white Mitchell and S tag. And then below that, you will have your size 44 large tag. Across the chest, you will have that Pirates lettering that is in yellow and it is all stitched into the jersey, very high quality. And then below that, you're gonna have Willie Stargell's number eight, also stitched into the jersey. On the bottom left hand side of the jersey you will have this jock tag that says Cooperstown Collection Mitchell and S and this is embroidered into the jersey as well. Now inside of the jersey this is a small detail that I think is really cool even though no one else will be able to see it but you'll know it's there and that's the 1982 Willie Stargell patch which is embroidered into the jersey. And then also inside of the jersey you're going to get your laundry tag and this jersey was constructed of 100% polyester and this is made in China. And on the reverse side, it just has instructions on how to care for the jersey. Now moving to the back of the jersey, real quick, touching on the sleeves, you do get the black, white, and yellow striping, and that wraps all the way to the front. And then at the top of the jersey, you're going to get your nameplate that is embroidered into the jersey. And on top of that, you're going to get that Stargell lettering that is all stitched. Very, very well done. Very high quality. No mistakes, no flaws. And then directly below that, you're going to get that iconic number eight that Willie Stargell made famous. And as you can tell, that is all embroidered, very nicely stitched, high quality from Mitchell and S. And in my opinion, this jersey only retailing for 90 bucks is one of the best values out on the market. But now that I did the review, let's go ahead and show you what it looks like on body.
So if you like what you've seen so far from this Mitchell Ness batting practice jersey, I'm going to tell you what other big name players that they have available. You know, iconic names like Ken Griffey Jr. They have the Mariners one and the Cincinnati Reds one. You can get a Cal Ripken, Tony Gwynn, an Ozzie Smith. Nolan Ryan, Mike Piazza, and that's just to name a few guys. If you're interested in seeing the full product line that Mitchell Ness offers in this batting practice jersey, I recommend going to their website or another retailer that sells these jerseys. Now, when it comes to this Mitchell Ness batting practice jersey, I think it is so dope. And for $90 being retail, I mean, it's such a great value. Everything on this jersey is stitched. It's basically like getting an authentic jersey for 90 bucks. Now, if you go after a Mitchell Ness Major League Baseball authentic jerseys, those cost $300, and you can add one of these to your collection for only 90 bucks. Now, when I bought mine, I actually got it on sale for $70, and I've seen these go on sale multiple, multiple times. So if you keep an eye out for this jersey, you might be able to get it even cheaper than a $90 retail price tag, which would make it even better. And when it comes to sizing, I recommend going true to size. So whatever you would typically wear in a Mitchell Ness product, whether it's a baseball jersey or a basketball jersey or something like that, you know, definitely go true to size. I always pick up the large. This is a 44 large, fits me perfectly. I have no regrets about this purchase. And if I was to buy another one, I would definitely go true to size. But I wanna know what you think about the Mitchell Ness batting practice jersey. Is this a cop? Is this a pass? Is this dope? Or is this trash? Comment down below and let me know what you think. I would like to thank you all for rocking out with me and watching this video before you guys bounce out if you haven't already done so hit that like button for your boy and if you're new or you haven't yet already subscribed hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss any content on sneakers gear or sports related items and until next video peace